Hey guys, Kevin here with a quick tutorial uh, just on how to upload your Portal 2 maps to the Steam Workshop and when I say Portal 2 maps I mean the ones you create with the SDK or Hammer World Editor. Uh, this took me a little bit to figure out so I figured I might as well make a video because I searched on Google and couldn't really find much. So first of all you just create your map obviously and then after you're done creating it, you want to make sure you've done these three, or sorry, two things, because this one's optional. So the first one's to add a Funk instance uh, with this name. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to do these. And also, uh, at the end of the map, you want to do a trigger that triggers a logic relay with this name. So once this loads, here's just a very basic map I just created. So you want to do... Uh, Funk instance, so over here, type in instance or whatever. There, you, there's what you want. Funk, in, funk instance. Place that down, and then double click it. And right here, the PMF file name. You want to go browse, and then you're basically looking for this. You want to go to that directory, which is SDK content maps instances. Uh, P2 editor and then it's global so I'm just gonna G to jump down there global PTI ends so I'll double click that and then go apply and then wait for it to load because it probably will take it a little bit to load and then there you go now you can just hit cancel on that and now you can move this to wherever you want really you usually want it out of the way where nobody's gonna see it so you can just put it outside the map. You don't gotta worry about it leaking or anything. And then the second thing you need to do is when the map ends, you wanna put a logic relay or a trigger that triggers a logic relay. So let's do a relay. Here, logic relay. And then you want it with this name. So I'm just gonna copy that. Double click that relay paste the name in there and then hit enter and apply and then you need something to trigger that so I'll just do a trigger and turn that into trigger once and sorry I hit control T to open up this to turn that to trigger once um, okay, and then under outputs you want to put uh, on trigger that relay that you just made and then trigger and then apply so once the player touches this it'll end the map so usually you want to put that through the last door of the level or the last room or whatever so once the player touches that it'll end the level uh, and then this one's just to disable the audio but for when cave johnson's commentary but you don't need to do that one but you have to do these two because if you try and upload your map without doing these two it just won't accept it so after you've created your map and you've done these two steps you got to go into your computer then go all the way into Steam, Steam Apps, and then into Common, down to Portal 2, and then in Bin, I'm gonna go pretty far down. And this is what you're looking for: p2map underscore publish.exe. What I did is just sent that to my desktop and created a shortcut. But if you want to run that, and then here's one the map I just uploaded to the workshop and you want to you won't see anything here when you first open it but you want to click add type in your title your map description and then right here this is where you find the file you want to upload so this would be the .bsp file which is your map file which has everything in it and over here you can upload an image or a couple images or whatever after you've already published it you can add like videos like you can see on mine here I have a video and an image and then you just click accept and publish and then after that it'll publish it 
to the workshop and open this and give you a link directly to it. So I hope this helped anybody out, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comments.